Hey everyone, this is part 10 of my Pokemon White walkthrough. Um, so yeah, what am I doing? Okay, yeah. So it's been a little while, uh, actually I did this yesterday. So yeah, uh, I'm just switching my Pokemon around and stuff for some reason. Okay, and yeah, there's, there's really no reason why I'm going into this building here. I'm not really sure why I did this. Um, yeah, but one thing I'd like to say, this was a pretty long episode. A uh, lot longer than I wanted it to be. I did some editing that you'll see. I uh, sped a few things up, just to, because I didn't want it to be extremely long. But, I guess, yeah, because, yeah, I don't know what I'm saying. So there's Berg, he's like, Hey, it's going here. So that's where I was headed. Uh, so... In we go, and I absolutely hate this forest. This whole episode is just annoying because of the stupid pinwheel forest. So he's like, there are two paths, the simple one and the extremely complicated and annoying one. I'll take the simple one so you can take the annoying one. So yeah, he basically just makes me take the stupid path that I don't want to take. And yeah, so I see this double battle, and I'm like, hey, I should switch my Pokemon around a little to be ready for a double battle. And that's what I do. And yep, here we go. Double battle. We discussed what we do before battle. Okay, so we are challenged by twins Mayo and May. Mayo, is that like, like mayonnaise? Uh, mayonnaise and May. Okay, so they both send out a Sawaddle. And... This was stupid. Because, uh, neither of my Pokemon can really do a whole lot to these. But I don't care, I stay in anyway. Um, yeah, I start off with a Leer. Because, you know, like I said, I can't really do much. And Norris is going to use Rock Smash. And I get a cool defense drop. And then they use this freaking Bug Bite. That was just, like, what the crap. I, th I thought they were going to use, like, you know, like, Tackle and String Shot and that dumb stuff. And they freaking Bug Bite. And... Wow, that sucks. So I guess Salad Sam isn't getting any experience. So I'm going to bring in Spitfire. Cause I'm just like, screw this, I'm not messing around. I'm just going to roast these things. And... Okay, Flame Charge. That will certainly not survive a Flame Charge. Cool speed boost. <clears throat> and I'm level 17. Oh yes, Vital Throw. Yes, I would love to learn that. That's awesome. Because, uh, my attacks are pretty crappy right now. I don't have an actual good, uh, fighting attack other than, you know, Rock Smash isn't very good. So yeah, cool, I have Vital Throne out. That would be so nice. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, sure, it always goes last, but that's, that's, I don't mind. It actually has good power. Ember. Oh, man, why do I keep yawning? Okay. Ah, they screamed for some reason. Okay, well that was stupid, because now Salad Sand Fiend, so I have to go back and heal. But I'm not skipping this, because I just want to remind everyone. You can just talk to this lady after you've battled her, and she will heal your Pokemon. Because she's just awesome. Yeah. So, back into the forest. Let's continue kicking some butt. And this is Team Plasma Doofus in the way, and he's like, You stubborn brat, when I'm through with you, you won't be able to chase us anymore. I kind of doubt that. But okay. So, let's see if he has anything interesting. A sand dial! Awesome! Those things are just cool. Those things are really cool. I like sand dial crocs. It's freaking intimidate. So, that sucks. So I'm just like... 
uh, you know, uh, it's actually a ground and dark type. I'm like, okay, after a Leer, Vine Whip should do a lot. And then he gets a freaking critical hit. Like, oh my gosh, Salad Sam just cannot win. Uh, so I'm just like, ah, screw this, I'm searching Pokemon. I want Salad Sam to actually get some experience, because he's such a low level right now. So in comes Norris. And then he uses freaking Torment. Like, ow. I would have stayed in and used Vine Whip. Okay, now he's using Assurance, and that's not going to do much. Because Assurance is a dark type attack. And, um, if you go last while using it, well, if you get attacked before using it on that turn, then its power doubles. Too bad I haven't got anything. Okay, I didn't really expect you to have anything. But I went back and healed again, because Solid Sam got hit by a freaking crit. So, another Team Plasma Doofus. My, my, could you be looking for something? Well, yeah, you did steal a Dragon Skull in the previous episode. Oh, wait, this is a girl. Okay. And she has a pearl on. That's disappointing. I'm really getting tired of these. Okay. Well, I know Perloin can't do much to me. Okay, so this is gonna fail. And I'm just gonna lower its defense, because Solid Sam can't really hit very hard. It keeps using assist like a retard. And I'm gonna find with... It doesn't quite do half. That's annoying. Oh my gosh. Sand attack. Yeah. Freaking sand attack. Uh, Vine Whip actually hits. I just need to hit one more time. Oh, uh, Fury Swipe. And this is going to hit me three times. Scratch misses. Okay, assist fails, but then Scratch misses again. My gosh. And another sand attack. Oh, this battle's gonna go on for ages. Scratch misses. Pursuit. That's not gonna do much. Uh, I guess it doesn't have snap. And Scratch hits. Oh my gosh. Yes, finally. Leveled up. That was just stupid. So... Yeah, I don't know. She didn't have the Dragon Skull. I didn't think she would. I'm kind of just wandering around here, looking around, like, uh, checking out what kind of items I can get. Oh, there's an item over here. I'm going to get a uh, Super Potion. That's cool. And I'm going to skip... What? Something, I did something stupid. I was just wandering. And I am going to skip the wild Pokemon encounters. I'm sorry. I wanted to include them, but it just this is such a long episode. I needed to shorten it every way that I could. So I skipped wild Pokemon encounters. I mean, I, yeah, I just wanted to um, include enough to show everybody what kind of Pokemon you could find here. But, yeah, this was just an annoyingly long episode, so I skipped all that. Yeah, there. We got the big root. And... Let's talk to this person. I patrol Pinwheel Forest every day, and then something about cake. Okay. Pokemon Ranger Forest. Ah ha ha, funny pun. So he is a herdier. Evolution of Lillipop. Oh, yeah, I'm learning these names. I'm learning them. So, got my Silent Sam. Doesn't really have a lot of HP. What am I doing here, exactly? Okay, yeah, I switched. Because Salad Sam is going to get owned. In comes Spitfire. Bite, holy crap, that's going to do nothing. And it does nothing. Uh, so now I'm going to use my sexy arm thrust. And holy crap, it hit more than twice. That does not usually happen for me. Okay, takedown actually does quite a lot. But that's that's okay. Flame charge will kill it. Not kill, but you know, it, it'll take it out. Okay, cool speed rose, doesn't matter. I'm level 18. Yay! And Salad Sam got some experience. Okay, so Yeah, then then he gives you a Chesto Berry, which is that was really nice of him. Um, actually, all the Pokemon Rangers in this forest will give you a berry after beating them. And that's cool. 
uh, add to your collection of berries. So moving on, oh, I'm gonna skip that. And let's see, let's battle this little youngster. Hi, Pokemon, strong points. You'll see them when we fight or something like that. Okay. <clears throat> youngster Nicholas, let's see here. We have a Venipede. Those things are pretty cool, I guess. As far as bug types go, I don't really like bug types. That's just me. And there's so many bug types in the 5th gen, and I hate it. Okay, so yeah, in case you didn't notice, I switched my Pokemon around, because I've just given up on Salad Sam. He's such a pain to level up. And he's just not worth it, in my opinion. So, yeah, I'm just gonna stop training him. I'm sorry to any of you who are Salad Sam fans. I'll keep him on my team for a little while, just, just because... So now he is a Timber. I cannot get over how stupid that name is. Couldn't you think of anything better? But whatever, I'm going to switch to Norris. No, I couldn't think of anything better for that name, so... Okay, let's see. Focus Energy, and... Ah, oh, I hope he doesn't crit me. Just focus Energy never does anything for me. It seems. It sucks. So a low kick, and... What do you know? I got critted. That's okay, I didn't even do half. And another vital throw will take it out. Hey, did you see my Pokemon strong points? Not really. Okay. Another Pokemon that I'm going to skip. Uh, there's these little piles of grass or something. Well, I don't know what they are. Uh, there's an antidote there. And, surprise! The pile of grass exploded, and there's a Pokemon Ranger inside. Okay, battle time. Pokemon Ranger Audra sends out a Pan Sage. Okay, and I'm not liking the looks of this. I can't really hurt this thing very much, so I'm going to switch into uh, Spitfire. Yeah, Spitfire. Okay. What's Pansage gonna do? Leech Seed. Oh my gosh. Freaking Leech Seed. I hate Leech Seed. And like, uh, I would love to go back and heal. But it's so far away. And it's just annoying. I hate this forest. Fortunately, Vine Whip doesn't do crap. And Flame Charge is gonna do a ton. In fact, it's gonna one hit KO the freaking Pansage. Cool. Yeah, defeated Audra. You and your Pokemon make a great team. Well, thank you. So then she gives you a berry too, just like all the other rangers. Now the Jester Berry. Okay, and walk through that log. No item in there. Underneath that log, okay. Uh, I found another Pokemon. I'm just like, you know what? Oh my gosh, I hate these wild Pokemon. That's it, that, that tears it. I'm gonna use Repel. Which I should have done ages ago. Yeah, I'm, not gonna, I'm now I'm gonna start speeding things up. I, I don't want to speed, speed up any of the battles. But, like, whenever I'm wandering around, I'm going to speed that up just to save time. Uh, Pokemon, tra Pokemon Ranger, Irene. And she has a Panpour. Are you freaking kidding me? Uh, we're gonna see all three of the monkeys again. I mean, nothing against the monkeys, but why is it that whenever we see one monkey, we always have to see all three of the monkeys? Like, think back to the daycare, there were those little kids that had all the monkeys. Uh, one kid for each of them, for each monkey. And, uh, we just saw, uh, Pan Sage earlier. Now we're seeing Pan Poor, so I'm sure we're gonna see Pan Seer. Gotta see all three monkeys, huh? I, I don't know why you can't just have a trainer that has one of the monkeys, and then that's it. Don't need to see all three. Well, thanks for the Petra Berry. And speed things up. Do, 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 do. Okay. Team Plasma. So you made it this far. I'll hold you here so my friends can get away. So he's basically just stalling. He's wasting my time. Wow, I hate you. And he's got a pat rat. That's nothing new. High voltage. Is on the verge of fainting. You can tough this out. Ooh, abide. That's okay. I hope. I just hope Shockwave does enough. And... 
Oh, don't like the looks of that. He's gonna just barely survive. I hope this next one does a good amount. And, okay. This looks like I can easily take it out with a quick attack. Awesome. No bide for you. Our rules and your rules are different. What do you mean? I really don't understand. Yep, I'm here to buy time. Well, you suck. Okay. Fun speeding things up. A parlous heel. You know, a paralyzed heel. I just like to pronounce it parlous heel. So, another Pokemon Ranger explodes from a, a pile of grass. Miguel. And surprise, he has a Pansier. So, now we've seen all three monkeys. And I think I stay in just because. Why not? Uh, yeah, yeah, I do stay in. And I'm gonna go for Shockwave. How much does this do? Uh, more than half, but that was a crit. So really, for a crit, that wasn't a whole lot. And I just get owned by an Incinerate. And... In comes Norris. Alright, I think I'm using Vital Throw, my awesome new attack. He uses Yawn. And I'm just like, oh, wow, this better kill. And I was pretty sure it would, and it did. Awesome. Yay, level 18. Did you feel my wildness? No, I didn't. I did not feel any sort of wildness. So then I get a Petra Berry. Yay, Petra Berry. Okay. And we're going to run through. Oh, come on. I accidentally talked to him twice. Run through here, and look, it's a dude in a flower pouch. Does he like flowers? I'll bet he likes flowers. So wait, that other guy was like, I'm gonna stall and buy some time while my friends can get away. Well, he's not going anywhere. He's enjoying the flowers. Yeah, he likes flowers. So, he starts with the pat rat. Oh my gosh. So many freaking pat rats in this game. Okay, and I'm gonna use... Rock Smash, because I want to go first, rather than using Vital Throw. And I killed in one hit. Awesome. And then he's going to send out another Pat Rat, which is retarded. Get something interesting. Get something new, different, exciting. And then he's just freaking detect. Yeah, I mentioned this before, and I'm going to mention it again. I hate how such a common Pokemon has access to detect, because they're just going to uh, endlessly use that attack. It serves no purpose, it just wastes your freaking time. So now he's a sand owl, and I'm like, okay, cool, I can respect that. Sand owls are awesome. Has freaking intimidate. Hate that. So now I'm gonna go for a vital throw. It'll be super effective because it's part dark. Sand attack doesn't bother me because vital throw never misses, which is awesome. Yeah, I just threw you vitally. And you died in one hit. Plasma! Is that plasma scream? Fine, take your stupid skull. So thanks. I get, I got a dragon skull, and he's like all scared of me. So I'm, and who is this freak? Some dude just showed up with a mustache. His name is Gorm. Gorm of the Seven Sages. So he's some. He's, he's one of the Seven Sages, I guess. We can afford to abandon the dragon skull. So apparently that wasn't the skull they wanted. It's completely unrelated to what they were looking for. Which means this whole fiasco was completely pointless and a waste of our time. There was no reason at all for us to chase them and for them to steal it at, at all. So this is just stupid. Wow, so now the uh, Berg and Lenora show up. And he's talking about Getsis and the other seven sages. Well, the odds are a little against us now, whatever. Okay, know your enemies, know yourself, and you need not fear the results of a hundred battles. And he just freaking quoted Art of War, which I did not expect to see in a Pokemon game. If you don't know what that is, Google it. You know, look on Wikipedia, something. Just look it up. They're a speedy bunch. Okay, so we got the skull back. It was stupid, because they didn't even want it to begin with. They thought they did, but they didn't. Okay, so I gave the skull back to Lenora. Yay, a moonstone! Oh, cool, I got a moonstone. Uh, why, why weren't you showing that in the museum? There's that, uh, 
apparently there was that one stone in the museum that was just just looked nice. It had no actual value. Well, if you have a moonstone, why weren't you showing that? Whatever. Anyways, I got a cool miracle seed, and oh my gosh, I hate this. I just want to go back to that nurse and heal, and of course I can't without finding more stupid trainers. My gosh, just leave me alone. I want to heal. And I probably should have saved this for the next episode, but I just want to show you, just to the greatest extent possible, how much I hate this forest. Well, I'd like to go back and heal, but I have to battle this uh, stupid trainer with these freaking woo bats. Heart stamp, and that's a psychic type attack, I'm guessing. It's super effective, but it doesn't really do a lot. So yeah, I was worried about this woo bat at first, because it's a, it's a psychic and flying, so it's four times resistant to my fighting attacks. And it just used freaking Outer Sleuth, which doesn't matter. Outer Sleuth will do nothing. So one more Seismic Toss will kill it. And yeah, why not use Outer Sleuth again? Just be absolutely sure of what I smell like. So Woobat faints. And in comes a second Woobat. And I'm just going to do the same thing I did before. Okay, yeah, another Outer Sleuth. Wow. So now the second Woobat wants to be absolutely sure of what I smell like. Which I guess I can respect that. So he uses Gust, and holy crap, that does nothing. Another Seismic Toss. Almost dead. Another Gust. That does nothing. And Seismic Toss is going to kill. Now, I've been getting really lucky with these Woobats, because uh, they used Odor Sleuth three times in all. Uh, but since freaking High Voltage fainted, um, I can't just Shockwave all of them. And I'm going to switch to Spitfire. Yeah, Spitfire. So, a third Woobat. Uh, I'm just going to go for Flame Charge. Look at that awesome attack. And holy crap, it takes down in one hit. Wow, I wish I knew that would have happened, or I would have just killed all three like that and saved so much time. And now, can we go back and heal? Of course not, because there's this another idiot in my way. I'm gonna switch to Spitfire. And maybe I can stay out of his view, but of course not. <sighs> Well, okay, one more battle. This is the last battle of the episode. Thank goodness, I hate this place so much. So he sends out a Muna. Yeah, I found out it's pronounced Muna, not Mana. I've been pronouncing it incorrectly the whole time. And you know what? That's retarded. Muna, that's... It, whenever there's a U and two Ns, you, you generally pronounce it like Un. Like, you know, Funnel or Tunnel. So, what's wrong with saying mana? But I guess it comes from the words moon and luna. Luna being Spanish for moon. And, wow, I hate that. That really bugs me. Why don't you put, like, moon with an A at the end? Just make it a retarded name, just like half the other 5th gen Pokemon. But wow, yeah, so it's Muna. And that really bugs me. But we're finally done with this stupid place. I hate it. Wow. So now we can go heal. Thank goodness. And that's the end of the episode. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Hopefully, if you decide to watch.